All right, guys, so let's go over our lympho, I'm sorry, our leukemias. How leukemias, the um, pathophysiology behind leukemias, and what is the breakdown between really all of our blood cancers? So really, leukemia is really just talking about blood, cancer in the blood. So Luke comes from that white blood cell. Immature white blood cells, also known as blasts, there's way too much crowding out of blood cells. So what happens in leukemia is um, you have way too much production of blood cells itself. So inside of your bone here, your little bone, your bones are what creates your blood cell. So inside your bone, you have something that stems from your blood cell itself, your blood stem, your blood stem cells. And from this blood stem, you create white blood cells, you create red blood cells, you create platelets, and really just help your body to um, different functions of the body. So what happens in leukemia is we have an overproduction of white blood cells. Emia means condition of leuke, white blood cells. Leukemia, just too much white blood cells. It's almost like we reached full capacity um, of, let's say, too many policemen inside of our restaurant. So with too much policemen inside of a restaurant, you're really crowding out the production of any other type of blood cell. So we know that patients are in leukemia because you have an elevated WBC count that's really high. You have pressure being pushed on your bones. So you're gonna have bone pain as well. You're gonna have a decrease in all the other blood cells. So your platelets are going to be decreased. Your hemoglobin, hematocrit, is going to be decreased. As well as your red blood cells are going to be decreased production. Because you have way too many white blood cells being produced. And a lot of bone pain as well. So let's get into the different kinds of leukemia. And let's break it down. So... With our leukemia, we have really have four classes of leukemia itself. You have what's called acute myelogenous leukemia, and you also have chronic myelogenous leukemia. Really just depends on where and which blood cells are being produced at a faster rate. So, in our blood stem, these stem cells, we really just start with one blood stem cell. It's almost like a production plant for all your different types of white blood cells. If you have an overproduction of myeloid stem cells, this is what we call acute myelogenous leukemia, okay? What's also known as AML. AML. You can also have a chronic myelogenous leukemia. Just saying that acute means it happens rapidly. Your white blood cells go up very rapidly and over the course of, let's say, a few days. With, acute, with chronic myelogenous leukemia, you have an overproduction of these myeloid stem cells over the course of, let's say, a week. Um, let's say a few months, and you have a creeping up of these WBCs. Acute means it happens rapidly, okay? So your patient's going to present with low H&H, &H, low hemoglobin, low hematocrit. Your patient's going to present with low platelets. Your patient's going to present with high WBCs. A lot of bone pain inside of this bone marrow, okay? So, your patient's gonna look pale. 
because we have a low H and H now. Your patient's going to probably have hematomas or basically um, bleeding from anything because of that low platelet count. We're also going to have this high white blood cells. So on the other hand, if you have the if the problem starts with your lymphoid cells, it can be as the same thing, a chronic issue or a acute issue. So we call this acute lymphoma, a lymphocyte leukemia, or chronic lymphoid leukemia as well. So the really the difference is where is the site of origin? Where is it being produced? In your lymphoid stem cells or your myeloid stem cells? And is it a chronic issue over the course of a few weeks to months? Or is it an acute issue over the course of a few days? Um, let's see here. One thing to know, and nursing tests love to put this on the test, is that CML, this one right here, has a specific test. Our chronic myeloid leukemia has something called the Philadelphia chromosome. Philadelphia, the, uh, the city of brotherly love, right? not really filling it right here. So the Philadelphia chromosome usually is an indication of chronic myelogenous leukemia. For your ALL, your acute lymphoid leukemia usually happens with pediatric patients. For some unknown reason, always um, a, nine times out of 10, chronically, Acute lymphoid leukemia is with those pediatric patients, okay? So, it is idiopathic. Idiopathic means that we are idiots in terms of the pathophysiology. We don't know why this happens. It's idiopathic. That's just a nice way of saying in the medical field, we don't know why it happens. We're going to treat the signs and symptoms and the condition now. So, if a question in terms of your nursing test comes up and says, your patient has a question of the causes of these leukemias, it's idiopathic, we don't know, okay? So, for some clinical manifestations of leukemia, let's go into that next, and let's break down some clinical manifestations. We kind of touched on it, but let's break it down even a little more here, okay? So let me stop the recording.